they are very robust in their field applications because the cast iron heat exchange has large waterways. It can cope with a lot of system debris which may be floating around the rest of the system. This is a very good application for refurbishments on older buildings for example. This is why the Puel Vary heat has been very well received in the field. The Pure Elvera heat, heat exchanger is uh, made of two um, different parts. So the primary heat exchanger is cast iron and that's where the flue gases initially run through and that's where the major part of the heat transfer takes place. Closely coupled to the cast iron heat exchanger is a copper and aluminium secondary heat exchanger. The flue gases run through a diffusion plate into the secondary heat exchanger and because the flue gases are quite cool at this point, that's where the, the major part of the uh, condensing happens. The combination of the two heat exchangers, that's what gives it uh, the pure well vary heat, its overall efficiency. Stainless steel and aluminium and copper and cast iron, they all have very different coefficients of heat transfer. Another big factor is you would use different manufacturing processes for different materials. For example, a cast iron heat exchanger will be made by gravity sand casting. That's a typical technique used there. Copper heat exchangers and stainless steel heat exchangers generally have very thin heat transfer areas which are made from thin plates, possibly made on a press tool. The waterways will be a smaller diameter to get the water speed high, which is required to, to get the right heat transfer area. Aluminium, you can manufacture either as a casting or you can make it as a finned heat exchanger, for example, of a press tool. Different manufacturing techniques and different um, rates of heat transfer in different materials, basically. The cast iron heat exchanger is manufactured from a gravity sand cast process. So there are a number of sand components manufactured in their own separate sand tools. The, each of the sand components is built together into a sand assembly. The void inside the sand assembly is effectively um, going to be filled with molten cast iron. The molten cast iron is poured at approximately 13-1400 degrees C. That is then allowed to cool. After a period of time cooling, the outer sand is knocked off and then all the secondary processing operations can take place, for example machining and core plugging and pressure testing.